This video shows the FMS VNAV profile and speed schedule planning using the climb, cruise, descent feature. Altitude constraints and speed adjustments will be followed by the FMS VNAV in flight as planned. Flight plan. We're on a flight between Sarasota, KSRQ, and Peter O. Knight Airport, KTPF, which was chosen because it has LP plus V approach. Indications. The display shows the selected speed without an armed VNAV. But if we push the VNAV button, the speed indication will become magenta, with a bug in magenta, and the V of VNAV indicating it's armed. Functionalities. In the home page of the GTC touchpad, we have all functions. To access the CCD VNAV, we must start from this page by selecting the flight plan page where we can find the flight plan created to go from Sarasota tonight. Through the VNAV page, we can access the VNAV profile. The FMS speed of 115 knots is the same that appeared previously in the speed tape on the PFD. If we change this value, it will be updated on the PFD. The FMS will follow each programmed altitude or speed. On the climb profile page, we can adjust the climb features. The same is applicable to crews and descent profile pages. Again, from the home page we can access a flight plan page where we can find the option VNA through which we can control the programming. Controls. From the home page we can access the flight plan page and press the VNAV button to go to the profile page where we can insert the FMS speeds. The first control. Here we can set a new speed value which will become the new climb speed or we can use one of the predefined speeds. We can also change the flight path angle. and enable or disable the VNAV. In the climb page we can control the climb profile. Choose standard profiles or change the schedules manually having a pilot defined indication. Another control is the speed limit with predefined options of altitude and speed and the possibility of pilot's inputs. Two restrictions can be inserted. We also have a field where it is possible to insert the distance from the airport the system must start to decrease speed and prepare for descent. On the cruise page we can also find predefined speeds. And there is the possibility of editing speeds manually. The descent page gives us the option of a standard descent through the predefined options but there is the possibility of editing them to have the desired values. There are speed restrictions as in the cruise page and a field to insert the distance from the destination airport in which the system must start to apply them. So these are the profile pages and the adjustments available to the pilot. Creating constraints. The departure from Sarasota has no predefined restrictions of altitude nor of speed, but it is possible to create one or more in the flight plan page. For example, if we want to cross the sea at 2000 feet, we select the altitude and insert the desired value. The type of restriction can be configured as at, at or above, at or below, or between. Let's say we want to cross it at or below. When we select the restriction, 
The indication changes according to the type of restriction created. We can also create speed constraints. For example, we want to cross the sea at 210 knots. Since they were created by the pilot, there are pins marking both constraints. These constraints can be applied to any waypoint on climb, descent, following a star, approach procedure, or a pilot-defined waypoint. For instance, if we want to cross Kai's eyes at 3,500 feet, at or above, and with a speed of 230 knots. All programming settings are reflected on the flight plan, as you can see for Vasi and Kai's eyes. Removing constraints. As well as creating constraints, it is possible to clear them. To remove constraints, you must select the altitude constraint and select the Remove Constraint button and then Yes. The same is applicable to the speed. Just select the Remove Speed button and Yes. This procedure is applicable to all waypoints. Temperature Compensation Some airports specify a minimum temperature for landing. If the temperature is below the specified, a constraint must be applied. Go to the first plan page, Standby Flight Plan button, and in the FAF, program a temperature according to what you have in the ATIS or in any other place where you can get the actual temperature. Go to Flight Plan Options button. Approach Waypoint Temperature Compensation button. Activate it by pressing the Temperature Compensation button. And in search the correct temperature for the airport. As soon as you insert the temperature, it will show the correct altitude in magenta, which can be observed in the active flight plan with the compensation symbol next to it.